everybody. It is Sunday morning, 8.06 a.m. Um, hold on, I'll tell you what the date is. I'm just now logging on to my computer and I can't seem to type this morning, evidently. I have only had one cup of coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's what the problem is. You know, be, that's my excuse. It's Sunday, February 17th. Um, um, sorry about that bright light behind me. Um, I'm getting ready for Intervals of Sanity's live broadcast, booting up the computer and stuff like that. And obviously, as you see behind me, turning on the studio lights. Um, I had an interesting morning already. I had a comment about one of my videos in Etsy. Yeah, did you catch that? A comment about one of my videos in Etsy, not on YouTube. And the person evidently didn't understand that, although I cough and sniffle and things on camera, I don't do it just because I'm lazy or I wanna drive you all crazy. I have asthma. Um, I got hurt at work uh, back in 2012 and um, a couple times and the result is I have asthma and I can't help how I breathe and I can't help sniffling on camera and I'm sorry if it drives you all crazy and um, you know I, I there's nothing I can do about it um, Etsy is not the place for those comments I am all I'm okay for, I won't say all for, because <laughs> I was going to. I'm okay with constructive criticism. I'm not okay with just being nasty. Um, and Etsy is not the place for any of that. If you have a comment about my video, keep let's keep it to YouTube, because I'm not going to even address it over on Etsy. I'm going to just delete it if it doesn't have anything to do with the store, to be honest. I don't mean to be a hard ass, but anyway. So, that all being said, that was before my first cup of coffee even. So I'm gonna have my second cup of coffee and something to eat and get ready for my broadcast. So, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. We might go out and do something fun. My husband's home for three days, so I don't know. I'll be back. Hey guys, I spent most of today, once the broadcast was over, sewing. I know, yeah, I said sewing. And or, you've all seen this daily drawing bag. If you haven't, it's a sew together bag. Um, I'll put the pattern link in the description below. Um, this is a hack on their bag. Um, um, what do I mean by that? This is a larger size than the pattern calls for. So this is my original daily drawing bag and I made it a bit taller, a bit longer. I added pen loops to the front of each one of the pockets. I staggered the size of the pockets so I could have all my daily drawing stuff in here. And this has been um, with me uh, about a year now through a couple of states. <laughs> it's, it's been with me, maybe not quite a year, but it's been with me for a while. Um, I noticed though, um, as I figured out what exactly I wanted in my daily drawing bag, that it was a little bit tight. And so these parts that wrap up around once it's full, I had trouble closing it, to be honest. Um, and I tried paring down a little bit and that's, uh, there's certain things that I need for my daily drawing that live downstairs. I'll the new Sorry. one first. Let me try to enlarge the bag just a little bit to make it easier to close. If it works, let me work out any pattern issues. This is my new one. Isn't it cute? Um, so it's a tie-dye fabric with this cute, like, um, turquoise um, dot fabric. And it closes very 
very easily. It has everything in here that was in the old bag that I didn't take a single thing out. Um, right now it's, and, and it closes and it's a little bit full right now because I have all these journals in the back, um, four of them which are just about finished and I've got the new ones prepped and ready to go in this pocket. So this is the time of the month usually where it's really, really full. And um, yeah, I just love it. It's a great bag. So anyway, um, yeah, I spent most of today doing that. Morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, February 18th, I think. Pretty, pretty sure. What time is it? It's 9.21 a.m. We're getting ready to go out and do some boring legal and business stuff and then have some fun and drive around and go exploring. But I wanted to share my husband got the pantry closet finished. All the ugly Gorilla Glue and cheap plastic is gone. He's put these bars in to hold everything in when you open and close everything, and he did a fabulous job. Thank you, Fred. We have a little light up here that's just up with Velcro, because it is kind of a dark hole. <laughs> but yay! All right, that's it, just a quick share because I love what he did with the pantry closet. All right. Okay, so if you're watching this, you've seen the other footage of us getting up to the falls, or at least up to the bridge part of the falls. Um, what we didn't catch on camera that we, if we had thought about it, we should have, but if we had thought about a lot of things, we would have done a few things differently. Number one, I need spikes on my shoes. I slipped and fell twice. <laughs> You know, I've said for a long time my middle name's not Grace. But the good news is I made it up there despite the slipping and falling. Yes, my breathing got a little bit labored, but nothing like the old days. Not only am I off some of my asthma medication, but my breathing seems to be coming easier. And I'm able to go out and do some hiking again, which I love. So yay! Now we're going to go do some more driving around and maybe try to find some place to eat lunch. I'll be back. It is Tuesday, February 20th? I don't know. Let's see. 19th? February 19th, I think. Because Friday was the 15th. Thursday was Valentine's Day. So I think it's the 19th. Some Anyways, days, even if it's chilly outside, 
I just don't feel like putting on socks and shoes. So flip-flops it is. See? <laughs> so I have my sweatshirt on. I've got a cough drop in. I have my wallet in my sweatshirt. <clears throat> and we're going to head to the post office. And I'm going to be that person everybody probably looks at like, oh, why is she wearing flip-flops? It's winter. Because I'm lazy. That's the answer. All right, hey I'll guys. be guys, um, I don't have any idea if I vlogged yet today or not. I don't think I did. Um, anyway, is it still morning? No, it's five minutes after morning. It's 12.05. <laughs> um, I've been up again in the art room again um, all morning. I um, am trying to develop good business and art routines. And so I try to come up at um, 9 a.m. and work um, until about lunchtime. And then I go back downstairs and I get personal things done. Maybe go for a walk around the neighborhood, um, get the mail, have something to eat, that sort of thing. Um, and then sometimes I come back upstairs and do some more work, but you know, I do work for myself. So my boss, she's pretty lenient about the hours that I work. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I almost said August, mm -mm. February 21st. Um, it is only 6.49 a.m. <laughs> I've been up since 5.30. Yeah, actually, truth be told, since about 5.24 this morning. I don't know why. Who knows? Um, but this morning, I think at about 9 a.m., the tree people are coming by from the school district um, who own the woods next to our house to do some maintenance on the woods. And I l told them they could borrow my driveway, quote unquote, borrow my driveway. So I've been up since early um, um, to get dressed and I wanted to move my car out of the driveway in case they block the garage. Um, and um, move our deer corn, because yeah, just because we like feeding the wildlife doesn't mean we want everybody to know we're doing that. So, yeah. And we also had a ladder that was leaning up against a fence on the woods side of the fence. So I moved that this morning. And um, I've had one cup of coffee. I'm working on cup number two. So the tree people showed up almost an hour late. And uh, now I'm finally out headed out to go run my errands. I'm going to head over to Walmart and I need to mail some stuff um, out today. So I'm going to head to McCann's to do that too. And then go back home and try to catch up on my art class homework and also work on some concept drawings for the project for my sister's business. And also I have March videos to work on. So busy, busy, busy. The woods next to our house are not owned by us. They're owned by the, I was gonna say city, I think it's actually Washington County. I'm letting them use my driveway for their equipment. They're doing some maintenance on the woods. Um, I don't think anybody's bothered to look at the woods next to our house in years, maybe since the house was built. Anyway, I had concerns about some of the trees Unbeknownst to me, one of the ones right next to the house was rotten and had to come out. I came back from running errands and I'm wishing right now it was a tree carver because there's so much wood out on the other side of the truck. You can't see it from here. So these are the woods outside the um, side art room window. I'm just hoping that the big tree, that one, doesn't have to come out. I love that tree. But I guess we'll find out. If they're rotten, they've got to go. All right. That's it for the moment. I'm going to eat some lunch. I'll be back. They're checking out another tree or adjacent trees. I wonder if that one's got to come down too. Hmm. Going up the big tree now. I hope they don't have to do more than just trim it. It's huge. It's next to the house. And honestly, I kind of like it. So... I guess we'll find out. Hi guys, it's Friday, February 22nd. It's two, I don't know, two something, 221, two, ay, 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 let's see. 212, 
p.m. Um, I have been working most of the morning on um, catching up on my homework with Pauline, which I have done. I'm going to go upstairs and show you what I've been doing in that class because I don't think I've really done that yet. Um, I've been working on a um, design project. I'm still working on concept designs for a business um, project for my sister. So I've been working with my daily drawing bag and some stuff to work on that. My hand hurts. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of sewing lately too, which isn't helping my hand. Um, it is cold outside. I got in, let's see. I got in a couple of orders. I pre-ordered a few things from new products from Creativation, not too many. Um, let's turn on some lights. I have, you know, a lot of stuff. So um, Seth Apter though came out with a bunch of new embossing powders and um, there were a couple I thought to add to my collection. I got Baked Texture in Blizzard and I got Baked Velvet in the Mediterranean kit. And then I got Eclectica's new stamp EM37. And this is a Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection stamp. You know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love the blueprint stamps. And this is like, there we go, architecture blueprints. I love that. I don't buy too many stamps anymore because I design my own, but I do love that. Um, I got a Thinlets, Sizzix, Tim Holtz Thinlets. Him and I are in the same uh, thinking, the same design track. Um, I don't know him. He doesn't know me. It's pretty funny. Um, but we both came out with modern atomic type collections. So this is his thinlets, which I can't wait to use in conjunction with some of my stamps. And then he also has a Biggs, which I also got and can't wait to use with some of my stamps. So, um, I'm going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how they work together. Um, so I got all those in today. That all came in today. I pre-ordered them a couple months ago, but it takes a while when you do that for them to come in. And then I've been working on Pauline Agnew's classes. And I'll put this one over here. So I did a couple of watercolor. Um, it's an expressive seascapes class. It's about um, abstracting. Um, your art, your seascapes, and we've do, been doing cloud studies and seascapes, so that's one. This is two. Three. These are all watercolor and mixed media or watercolor with a little acrylic paint. And then this one. These are the ones I like, by the way. And then um, today I finished this one, which I liked it when I did it at first. It was a little dark, and when I got up here last night, uh, this morning, I did I fixed it. Um, and then I did these ones that I'm not so crazy about. I might have shown these already. I don't know. They're okay. They're not my favorite. But just practicing my mark making and abstracting my images. Trying to learn what I can from Pauline. She's a fabulous artist. So this one was okay. I wasn't too happy with it. And then I redid it in watercolor. I prefer this one. And I prefer this color palette. So those are the same, made, uh, made from the same um, source or reference image. So anyway. I have more drawing to do. I've got some more sewing to do, but I'm not working on that until the middle to end of next week. I've got YouTube videos to film, so we'll be doing that. I'll be working on that starting on Sunday or Monday. And, oops, um, I'm gonna go out with my daughter and her friends tomorrow, and we are gonna start the wedding dress shopping process. That'll be fun.
I'll film what I can when I can because I don't think the girls want to be on camera. So we'll see what happens. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be Hi back. Hi guys, it's Saturday morning. In 900 feet. Turn left onto Northwest 185th Avenue. Thank you, Jeeves. It's Saturday morning, it's just after 10 o'clock and Fred's dropping me off at the kids' apartment because I'm going wedding dress shopping with Rebecca and her friends. When did that happen? When did she get old enough to get married? Turn left onto Northwest 185th Avenue. Thank you, Jeeves. That didn't answer my question though. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to go do that today, and I'll film what I can. In 900 can. feet. Turn right on to Northeast Evergreen Parkway. Anyway, I'll be back. It is late. It's almost 11 o'clock at night on Saturday and I spent the day today with my daughter and her friends uh, wedding dress shopping. If you're watching this clip you've seen the few clips from that. I'm not going to show the dress she actually picked but yes she did find one she liked and um, everybody was in tears. She looks, she's going to look beautiful on her wedding day. How surreal is that though? You know, it seems like yesterday she was, you know, little and chasing the birds across the parking lot and playing dress up and yeah, it's pretty special though. Anyway, it's been in a fun week as usual and it's been busy, 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 but it's all good. And next week is going to be more of the same, I think. I haven't filmed March yet. Any March things for YouTube. Um, like five minutes of one video, which doesn't really count. So I need to work on that next week. I've got to make that a priority. And I'm also finishing up uh, my class with Pauline Agnew. So those are my two priorities next week. I do have a little bit more sewing to do. and um, But that can wait a bit. So anyway, I will see you next week. I hope you've all had a good one. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook and the Facebook groups, um, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. I have a Patreon. I have an Amazon store. I have an Etsy store. <laughs> um, I have a tip jar if you want to just do that. So pick one. <laughs> um, my links for that and all my social media, if you want to, as my friend Shannon Green would say, stalk me on social media. Um, if you want to do one of the do that or or support the channel, all of the links for all of that stuff and everywhere you can find me on the internet are in my link tree. The link tree link is in the description below on every single video. And of course, I do have a happy mail address. If you choose to send me some, that would be wonderful. I love getting happy mail. Um, that should also be in the description below. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, it's been a fun week. I hope you've all had a good week too and don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.